Hi guys, my name is Skip Miller. I want to welcome you to our workshop here in Colorado. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a new uh, model that we've developed over a period of time. This is the Topaz SV2. I'm going to walk you through how the Topaz was developed over the past three years and show you some of the design improvements. So with no further ado, let's jump right into the Topaz SV2. This is the original uh, Topaz that uh, uh, fuselage and uh, there was a wing and stab that go with it of course. Um, this model uh, started out as a flat center section model with um, a spoiler in the center that actually blanked out the stab uh, when you uh, ran your elevator compensation for landing. It was still a very formidable opponent and many pilots have done very very well with it over time. Uh, I guess the more notable would be Joe Wirtz. I think he won Visalia with it. I went out and actually flew the same version and won Visalia with it in RES. When I did that, I got the attention of Victor, who was a Ukrainian who marketed models and it was the original uh, supplier of the Topaz. And when I got his attention on that after the win in Visalia, I said, well, there needs to be some improvements to the model. I put dihedral in the center section. I moved the spoilers out in the direction to the tips to put the spoilers where they should be so they wouldn't blank out the stab. Uh, I increased the rudder area and I played a little bit with the fuselage length. Um, that model was very successful in its first outing in the Southwest Classic. I won RES with that down there. Um, sadly, Victor passed away unexpectedly about a year ago and obviously that's horrible in our small community of model sailplane enthusiasts and especially manufacturers. Uh, the Topaz pretty much got lost in the transition as the company closed. I then uh, tried to visit with some of my connections in the Ukraine to see if we could resurrect the Topaz and when I finally found some manufacturing that could give us the quality that we would want in such a reliable model, um, we then decided to take it either another step. So what we have today is now the Topaz S. The S, by the way, was for the Topaz Skip because he did do the modifications. And now this is a Topaz S V2. It's the version 2. Uh, I think the biggest change in the model was the shape of the fuselage. Uh, you can see the old shape was a little bit archaic as far as what was needed for aerodynamics as well as uh, for landing points. Uh, this this pointed nose makes the airplane a little bit easier to stop upon landing. Um, we also made it 2.4 friendly, uh, which we had started to get into with the Topaz S, but now it's completely 2.4 friendly. Uh, there's a much better quality and the fin, vertical fin and rudder area um, uh, as just some of the small changes. The tow hook has been adjusted and bent so that it's a cap more of a captive tow hook that you have to release uh, upon launch. Uh, this is the the wing of the Topaz SV2 and the spoilers are now a little bit more composite. Uh, they, they basically uh, have a lamination so they're very secure uh, and in a minute here I'll open this up and you can see the linkage and how we hook it up. Uh, that linkage was provided by one of our customers, uh, Ray DeNoble, who did a very clever linkage re relationship and what you really want in a um, RES is when you're towing them, if you use a rubber band on the uh, spoiler mechanism, the spoilers will actually suck open on a hard tow. So you really don't want that. You really want a firm linkage that when the spoilers are pulled down, they're pulled down and won't go up unless you tell them to. Um, so this is the assembled Topaz SB2. Uh, obviously it has very elegant uh, design for RES. Some of the features that I mentioned earlier uh, were certainly the the spoilers are actually composite, and when you can see the fit on them is per almost perfect. And uh, when they open the actual composite, it's actually a triangular piece of balsa laminated to composite uh, fiberglass. So when when you close them, they seal up perfectly, which is kind of amazing. Uh, you can certainly see the quality in here of the spar construction and the caps on the carbon uh, caps on the Ribs. Also, I increased the aspect ratio of the V2, so it's a little bit more span, uh, which helps the model. And uh, as far as other changes on the V2, it was the fuselage, a little bit more rudder area, uh, increasing the span. The amazing part about the model, when it's all 
when all is said and done, and we'll do some, we'll have the model assembled here so you can get the whole picture of it, is it weighs 35 ounces ready to fly. So when we do our flight testing on it up at a local park, uh, you'll get to see the advantages of the 35 ounce RES Topaz V2. Um, we have a number of them out flying. People are, are doing very, very well with them. I'll be campaigning this in RES. This is uh, certainly my uh, interest is in the unlimited airplanes, but I do fly RES in the bigger contests just to do a little bit more flying when we're out of town. Um, the, the inside of it is fairly sanitary. It's very simple, straightforward. Uh, I'm running all electronic servos in it uh, to get that 35 ounce weight. It comes with a ballast tube. Uh, so that you can install that and have it uh, available to add weight, which is a critical part of flying successfully RES. Someone once named me the king of RES, and that was because I won the first world championships in F3B, and at that time I flew an RES model. I flew the Aquila, which had spoilers, rudder, and elevator. People somewhat laugh it off. Uh, but yet I was turning in, in the 16 to 18 lap range with a RES in 1977. So it's still kind of amazing. I guess that's why somewhere I'm considered the king of RES. I won the RES World Championships. But uh, um, uh, certainly RES is a fun class. It's inexpensive. Uh, we market these models for $849 and sometimes we put them on sale. Uh, so you can watch that as well. Uh, it's very clean. Uh, and it's a, our latest addition to the Topaz series and we're very proud to have it and we look forward to you placing an order with us.